Hi guys, so today's video is my November favorites. I know it's the middle of December, and I know two weeks from now, Christmas, well no, a week and a half from now, Christmas is going to be here, but I definitely wanted to get my November favorites up, and I will tr I'm will. i definitely going to try more harder to get my favorites up when this was be up. Yeah, so, but today is my November favorites, and I'm so excited to tell you guys what I've been using on my face, because... I think my face look pretty good. <laughs> so the first thing I want to, I want, oh, I'm sorry. The way that I want to do it is basically how I put my makeup on because I feel like that's easier to follow. And especially if you guys want to buy this stuff, you can go to my video and you can like, okay, I know she talked about her primer first because that's the first thing you put on your face. So <clears throat> as that being said, my first thing is my primer and the primer that I use is the I actually use two primers, but the second primer is something that I need to use my foundation, and I'll tell you why. But the primer that I've been using for my face is my Smashbox Photo Finish, and I got the small one because I am a firm believer of trying something out before, because I, excuse me, I hate to use, I hate to buy, like, full-size stuff, and if I don't like it, I'm stuck with it, or I have to return it, and I have to go back, and then I get, I'm like, oh, what's that? Oh, something new, I want to buy that, like... So I definitely like to buy like the smaller packaging to try out. But I love it. I will definitely buy the big packaging because I think that this is amazing. It definitely makes my makeup stay there and it looks per beautiful in photos. Can't have enough good things to say about this one. Now my foundation. Now remember when I told you about the primer that I use? I use two primers, but the other ones for my foundation is because I've been common I've been combining these two together. This is my L'Oreal in fate in Flammable, yeah, Inflammable Pro Matte and my Maybelline Master Prime. The reason why I put these two together is because this, even though I love this foundation, I have combination, combination skin. And when I mean by combination skin, I have normal skin on the outside, like, like, not up here, but like my cheeks right here, down here, right here. All that is, all, all this is, is normal it's fine it's not nothing nothing's wrong with it but in my teeth zone like my forehead right here not on the top of my nose but the more so on the side of my nose and the side of my cheeks I get dry I get dry I get really dry I get really dry I get flaky skin I get the whole shebang and it seems that when I put this with this on my face it makes a miracle because this is a it blurs my pores also like my studio my my my, uh, my primer that I just used my studio fix Smashbox it doesn't blur out my pores a little bit it blurs out but I can still see them them huge pores but this it blurs them out and it gives me illuminating so it makes my highlighter looks more highlight it looks, it just makes everything looks more glowy and more like wow look at you. And that's what I want. I want someone to look at me and be like, wow, look at you. So, that's what I get when I put these two together. And I think they're amazing. Um, this is a medium. I would say this is like a medium. Me medium to full coverage. Um, you can definitely build it up if you want to. I only use about maybe... I don't use a lot because it's pretty heavy. I to me it's heavy, even though the box and things is like I think it's pretty heavy for my skin, but I still love it. So clearly it's doing the, it's doing the job, right? <laughs> um, the next thing will be my concealer, and my concealer is that I've been craving about is the Mac Pro Longwear Concealer, and this is what it looks like. Um, as you can see, I have a ton of concealer left because I like I said I don't do my makeup every day, but when I do do my makeup. I definitely go for this bad boy. He's definitely someone that is just amazing. Um, with me though, I have to, I do each eye at a time. I know a lot of people put their concealer on like this on this side, and they put the concealer on this side, and they put it on the forehead, they do their whole face. But for me, it seems like this foundation dries faster. So I'll do one eye. I'll Set it, I'll, you know, use my beauty blender. I'll use my beauty blender and I'll dab it in. And then I will put, I will 
leave it alone. Then I'll do this side, do this side. So I do each section because it seems like this dries out faster. And when I do it all together, it's more hard to blend and keep set it where it needs to be because it's already starting to set. So I definitely do each side at a time. That's just what I do. If it works different for you, that's amazing. I wish it did for me, but I don't mind the extra work. Um, for my setting my concealer that I've been using, it actually is the Sephora Bright Bright Set um, Compact. And this is what it looks like. It's in the color Banana 01. It's a beautiful, like, banana color. It, it's, it's very light on the skin. Um... The brightness, see, I just put that right there and it just bright, it just naturally brightens up your concealer. Um, oh, I forgot to say what color I am in my concealer. My concealer, I am in the color NW40 and in my matte Infable, Infable Pro Long thingy, it's 112. Sorry, but the, that's what I am in this, 112, NW40 in my concealer. But back to the my Sephora, um, yeah, it's very beautiful. It's a, definitely a good press powder for beginners. Um, I don't know how much I spend on it, honestly, truthfully, but I'm pretty sure you can find it on the website. Um, yeah, it's just an amazing way to set your concealer. Um, I don't set my whole face because I have dry, like I said, I have normal dry skin, so I kind of like the, I like the dewy look and or the glow look that you get. So I don't really, I don't set my... I don't set my foundation on my face, but I just, I always set my concealer with a brightening set. For contour, um, I've been using the Black Opie True Color, and the color that I've been using is Sudu Mocha. Um, you can get this from your local Walmart. That's the only place that I've been able to find. This is at Walmart. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just a beautiful, like, dark mocha Ch chocolate color is it comes in a stick like you can see it comes in like a stick i've been using a lot of this like i love the contour the contour i just love the i just i love the contour <laughs> i love the contour so but anyway back on this product it's beautiful it's easy the way that i use it is i use my sigma p48 uh my P48 brush. I use my Sigma pool. And I take off. I just take off the top and I just rub it. I just rub it a few times. Back strokes like this to get the product. Because the way I'm angling it is the same way that I put the product on. So I do it that way. I do the opposite way. So and then I go down. So I use this every day when I contour. I contour every time I do my makeup. And I'm always grabbing this. This is the only contour, the one that I do love. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Um, for blush is another Sephora product, and it's the it's in the colorful, it's in the colorful collection, and it is color. Oh my gosh! And N10 is amazing. It's beautiful for. It's beautiful for I personally. It's a beautiful color for anybody's skin tone. I just think it's one of those um, colors that. Just look amazing and you can build it up, which I love build up way because I can I can put that just on my skin. But if somebody who is um like this is beautiful on my skin, but if someone's lighter than me, you can definitely take a little bit less and just dab it. And you can still like see you can dab it. And it, I this is an amazing color. This is a good tryout color too because it's so blendable. This is a Beautiful color for you to try out if you're just starting on makeup and you don't know what kind of blush to go for. You don't want to get like the MAC or the NARS or the Tarte because you're just starting out and you don't want to spend $60, $30, $27 on a product that you don't know how to use. So I would definitely say start off with this and definitely see if that works for you and if you like it. And if you feel like, oh, I can, I can blend, I can do my face amazing, I can get it beat. Then go up to the expensive stuff and try that out. But I think this is a great product to start off with. For my highlighting, I've been using a bronzer. And, and I know you're like, bronzer, bronzer is supposed to keep you tan and stuff. But for my skin tone, I need, I couldn't find, I just actually, that's why I went to Ulta. Like I said, I, to, I went to Ulta. And I actually am trying out the Becca Opal. 
I'm trying that out to see if I like that. And that might be my, that might be my December favorites. I don't know. I have it on my face right now, but I'm just trying out. But for all my Instagram pictures, that you, all my Instagram pictures that you have seen with my face highlighter or just my face just looks amazing, it's because I've been highlighting my face with this bad boy. And this is the Hard Candy So Big Bronzer in Heat Wave 132. It's amazing. It's a beautiful color to highlight with. And again, this is another thing that you could um, you could build up. As you can see, I have a lot. Look at that. Look, I I. I have a lot. I have a lot of products. And the way that I use it is I use my also Sigma brush, the P82 brush, and I just brush it back and forth like this. And find a spot. I just highlight my face. And I always turn my brush when I do my highlight. I I put my if I put my highlight on the brush right here, I'll rub it in and I turn my brush to clean it up on the other side because when I get the desired look I want, the desired intensity of my highlight I want, I don't want any more. But yeah, this is what it looks like. And it's just a beautiful gold color. Like, that's amazing. Like, that's amazing. So, I definitely think this is a beautiful highlight if you want to just highlight your face. It doesn't really, it doesn't really have a lot of shimmer in it. That's why I like it. I feel like it just gives you, it just gives you a glow. So, um, because it's really hard to find a highlighter that doesn't have a, a shimmer in it. Um, one highlighter that I have used, but it has had a, it has had a shimmer in it, is the, um, Maybelline True Match Illuminating Powder Glow Illuminator. This is what it looks like. Um, as you can see, I haven't really used it. Um, this is in the color Rose, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it looks. Rose is what it comes in, and this one, this one is a more. I don't know if this is my right color, so that's another thing. So I can't really put a review on it about it because I think I got this. I think this color is just way too light for my skin. Like it's just way too light, and I don't know. I don't know. Like this is, like this is what it looks like right here, and this is what. This is the uh, hard candy. This is the L'Oreal, and as you can see, they're both pretty. Yeah, I mean they're amazing. They're beautiful. They're both beautiful. I don't know. Maybe I'll try it again. But right now, for my favorites, my favorites we're talking about hard candy uh, and heat wave is amazing. Um, lashes. Oh, lashes. Lashes. Back to lashes. Lashes. I don't have any lashes on today. But I know that I had a ton of Instagram pictures. And I, had a, I had an Instagram picture. And a lot of people asked me, like, your lashes are freaking amazing. Like, why? And it's probably because the lashes that I use are the, called the Fab Lashes. I don't have any lashes today. That's why I don't have any on my eyes. I need to get some. But this is what it looks like. This is the packaging. It comes called um, Fab Lashes. And I got the AEL 43. They're double they're double lashes. And so what I mean by double lashes is, you know, you have your regular lash and the lashes are just, you know, regular size. But this one has the lashes that you would normally put on and a double, and a double weft to it. So there's two lashes on one band that looks, to make your eyes look more fluttery. So they're beautiful. I love these lashes. They're only $2 at the beauty supply store. So definitely check these out. Um, amazing but for my lashes for just mascara that I've been using I've been using I've been actually um liking the super sizer cover girl like I every hmm, let me think every mascara that I use like this whatever is in this tube here is pretty scary Pretty scary. I'm kind of scared. This is amazing. Like I have them on my, my lashes now, and my lashes are just they from a distance. You wouldn't tell that I don't have any. I I wouldn't have any lashes on, but I don't. I think these. I think this is a really good um, mascara. I don't buy. I don't. I I haven't bought high end mascara. I personally think that because you wear if you wear lashes, there's no point of having high end mascara um another one that i have been loving too is the 
telescopic carbon black this one is amazing also as you can see look how small these combs are these combs really get the hairs like like they get the hair they get your hairs amazing um this is this is a really good one also but the brush on this one is also the same and this is why probably why i like it is because they're both really tiny you i personally think a tinier brush than a bigger brush like this one this one's a bigger brush like this i don't use big brush because i already have pretty long lashes already i like my lashes to get gripped i want you to i want this brush to like get my lashes like like so i personally like small lashes and i think this is this has been my favorite this month i have grabbed this one multiple times just when i want to walk out the door and I just want my face to just look like someone loves me i use this and for line for eyeliner i've been using the l'oreal paris carbon black intense felt tip liquid liner this is what it looks like i love this liner because i feel like you have all this to grab to do your eyeliner like if i can open it this is what it looks like so you have all this like really grip to be able to like draw your lashes and this is what it's a beautiful black too i wouldn't i would not I don't, i'm not gonna knock it <laughs> it's definitely a beautiful black this is what it looks like i think i always blow i always wait a while because it doesn't come off too after you like after it dries it's like on there yeah, it's on there. So, this is a really good stick to your lash, make your lash look like. Hello, these are, this is a good eyeliner. I like this eyeliner. Um, I do use the other eyeliner with it if I want to do a wing liner because the felt tip helps me flick it, but this one helps me color it in. And this one also is, has a bit, like, a lot to grip too. So, any of Added like again, out of these two, this is probably my favorite. This is the one that I use every day when I'm doing my eyeliner and whenever I do my first makeup, actual makeup, 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 makeup video. <laughs> you guys will see that because I'm always grabbing for it. Um, last but not least, my favorite lip that I am wearing today is just a beautiful glossy pink. Is the another L'Oreal? I love L'Oreal. Um, the L'Oreal Paris and Fable 8 Hour Glass Pro Glassware. This is what it looks like. And it's, again, a beautiful, it's a beautiful pink. This is in the color 105 Patel, Patel, something like that. Um, this is what it looks like down here this is what it is and it just has look at that look at that shine like people from a distance i'm like who's who's that exactly it's so beautiful it's like why where have you been oh my lord oh my lord oh my lord so i love this um and again all this uh, most like i said this this list of stuff is from high end to drugstore because i feel like you make your own face. You make what you like. And it doesn't have to, you don't have to wear just high-end stuff. You don't have to just be this specific person. You can wear whatever you want. And I'm an advocate of, you know, just try it. Rock it, rock it to you. Rock it to you can't rock it no more. So, hmm, I think that is it for my favorites. I, my color, I got my nails done at the nail supply store. And this is the color... A light in Paris or a light, a light, something like that. I can't remember, but I will get the information for you guys. Um, I don't have anything else to say. I am going to try to do another video, not tomorrow, but on possibly Wednesday. I'm going to try to do another video. I don't know why I'm going to do a video on yet. So, hmm. give me any, if you have any ideas, definitely leave a comment at the bottom. Um, and until next time, guys, I guess until the next time I see you. Also, subscribe. 
if you like me and you like my personality, please subscribe. Tell me, you know, hey, girl, I like what you're doing. I can see us being friends because I would love to be friends with all you guys. But until next time, guys, we see each other. I hope everyone has a beautiful and a loving day. And be kind to one another. Bye, guys.